With his third studio album, Pure Comedy, landing on countless best of lists in 2017, it can be seemingly hard to ignore the presence of one of indie rock's most polarizing figures, Father John Misty. To understand Father John Misty, it's best to look back to where he came from. In 1981, Joshua Michael Tillman was born into a religious household in Rockville, Maryland, in the suburbs of Washington, D.C. I grew up speaking in tongues and slain in the spirit, and, but also being told that none of this is real. Nothing that you can touch or see or feel is, is real. Yeah, you know, yeah, this yeah. is all just some sick joke, you know, and then we go to heaven and sing forever. In his 20s, Josh Tillman began to stray away from his family and religious upbringing. He released eight records under the name Jay Tillman and spent years touring with Fleet Foxes as their drummer. In an interview with the Chicago Tribune, Josh said, I wanted to prove myself prematurely that I was a serious artist and distance myself from how I grew up. I was catering to an archetype, to some sort of cowboy myth of what I wanted to be in my head. I, I was just stuck in this one just this one idea, you know, like those those Jay Tillman records, they're all just kind of re-articulations of the same sort of idea. In 2010, he experienced a loss of self-identity while on an intense psychedelic trip. He immediately left Fleet Foxes and moved to LA to write a novel. While working on the novel, he discovered a new voice, a voice that more accurately reflected his true character. This transformation was personified when he undertook the moniker Father John Misty. Under the new alias, he released his debut album, Fear Fun, which featured a song inspired by the novel he wrote in LA entitled, I'm Writing a Novel. The album has a much different sound from any of his previous work, replacing slow and somber tunes with something more exciting and engaging. By the time his second project, I Love You Honey Bear, was released in 2015, Father John Misty had made waves in the indie rock community for being an outspoken lyricist and performer. His new record was personal, humorous, sweet, and cynical. The album cover, I think, is sort of the best uh, illustration of what's, ha what's ha you know, literal illustration of what's happening, kind of numbing my self-awareness and just trying to make sense of who I was strictly through what strangers told me about myself, uh, but more specifically like the facade that I was giving them. In 2017, Father John Misty released his most controversial effort to date, Pure Comedy. From front to back, Pure Comedy is an uncensored critique on the entertainment industry and consumer culture at large. It forces us to look at the ugliest parts of humanity from a perspective outside of our own. The idea of the record, I, I, I guess, is to... Going from narcissism to consciousness. Mm -hmm. And I think narcissism is uh, like, with these themes of like our absurdity and the kind of futility of, you know, I mean, like asking these questions like, is progress even possible or do we just satirize ourselves when we try to, you know, like, do we just make ourselves more absurd? On the title track, Pure Comedy, Tillman points out that unlike other species, humanity relies on culture to dictate our thoughts and behavior. So there he can go on being godless animals. The album was met with universal acclaim, and a man who was struggling to find his voice only a few years prior is now a commercial success. His latest album, God's Favorite Customer, appears to be a much more self-reflective project. With singles like Mr. Tillman and Just Dumb Enough to Try, we get a glimpse into Tillman's head and find out what he thinks of himself. Please welcome Father John Misty. Mr. Tillman, good to see you. Father John Misty isn't afraid to make people feel uncomfortable. 
He writes from a perspective beyond his own, allowing the listener to think about the bigger picture. He does this in a way that he never could as Jay Tillman. In order to find his true voice, he had to become somebody new. Thanks for watching everyone. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and comment your favorite Father John Misty album and subscribe for more content like this. If you'd like to support us, then head on over to our Patreon page where you can get rewards for as low as $1.